How will good cause eviction change New York City real estate? We will demystify this topic in the following video. My name is Nick at Houseit. We are the largest reduced commission platform for buyers and sellers here in New York City. Visit our website, houseit.com, to learn about ways to save and reduce your buyer closing costs or seller closing costs when transacting in New York City. Now let's get started. Legislators in Albany, New York have recently been working on good cause eviction legislation, Senate Bill S2892B, which if passed into law would cap annual rent increases in New York City to 3% for all apartment types, including market rate units, and essentially require landlords to perpetually continue a tenancy. The proposed legislation would apply to all types of rental units, including individual condo and co-op units, as well as rental buildings, whether regulated or market rate. The bill's sponsor is New York State Senator Julia Salazar, who represents the 18th Senate District. This includes the Brooklyn neighborhoods of Bushwick, Cypress Hills, Greenpoint, and Williamsburg, with parts of Bed-Stuy, Brownsville, and East New York. This proposed legislation is just one of many recent legislative changes affecting New York City, which largely strengthen tenant protections at the expense of landlords. Recently passed legislative changes affecting New York City include a cap on security deposits, as well as the potential prohibition on traditional rental broker fees. Now, New York is just one of many states which have enacted tenant-friendly legislation in recent years. In 2019, Oregon became the first state to enact a statewide rent control policy, and this caps rent hikes at 7% plus inflation during any 12-month period. Does the annual rent increase cap apply to individual condo and co-op units? Yes. The good cause eviction legislation as currently written prohibits annual rent increases in excess of 3% for all types of apartments including individual condo and co-op units. The most recent version of the legislation allows for rent increases of 3% or 150% of the consumer price index, whichever is higher. The inclusion of outright limits on the annual rental rate increases for market rate apartments in this legislation is why many industry participants have labeled this as universal rent control. Keep in mind that this language is preliminary and it's likely to change in some way if this legislation actually moves forward. Can I refuse to renew a tenant if I want to move into my apartment or sell? The good cause eviction legislation as currently written provides no right for a landlord of a unit in a building with more than 12 apartments to recover an apartment for personal or family use. Landlords in buildings with less than 12 units would need to prove a compelling and immediate necessity to non-renew a tenant and recover a unit. If a unit is in a building with fewer than five units, the legislation as currently written does not permit a landlord to recover the unit for a family member. Under the legislation, landlords are required to show just cause for not renewing a lease, which presumably includes direct violations of the lease terms. For example, using an apartment for a legal activity would give a landlord grounds for non-renewal of a lease under this proposed legislation. Will good cause eviction legislation reduce apartment values in New York City? Most likely, yes. Caps on rent increases will undoubtedly make owning residential real estate in New York City less desirable, both for large investors as well as small-time landlords and individual owners. More worryingly, restrictions and limitations on non-renewals and the ability to easily recover a unit for personal or family use will strongly deter individuals from buying versus continuing to rent. For example, a prospective purchaser of a condo in a small apartment building whose job may require one to two year stays abroad would be unlikely to buy versus rent since it would be nearly impossible to recover the unit from the tenant and move back in 
to it upon returning to New York City. The legislation as currently written provides no clear ability for an owner to recover a unit and non-renew a lease if she or he wants to sell an apartment. And because prospective purchasers would be more inclined to buy a primary residence versus an investment property under the new legislation, Owners who must sell with a tenant in place due to the good cause eviction regulation would receive significantly less money when selling. Good cause eviction legislation will also reduce the value of rental buildings because it's unclear whether the mandatory caps on rental increases would allow building revenue to keep up with rising building expenses, such as real estate taxes and utility costs, which have often exceeded the rate of inflation in recent years. We hope you found this video helpful. My name is Nick at Houseit. Visit our website, houseit.com, to learn about ways to save money when buying and selling. And if you like this video, leave us a comment, like, and subscribe, and we hope to see you on the next one.